Within this lesson, we'll look at measurement conversions. We'll start with how many ounces equals 9 pounds 11 ounces. When you look at this problem here, one of the things that you will have to know is the conversion factor. That one pound equals 16 ounces. So the conversion factor from one pound is 16. So we have nine pounds here. And yet we also have 11 ounces. If this was just one pound, we also know that one pound is also equal to that 16 ounces. It's not two pounds though. It's not three pounds. All the way it is nine of those pounds, which will be nine then, and we know that each of those pounds is also worth 16 ounces. So we'll multiply nine by 16 to get the number of ounces that those nine pounds are worth. Yet, we also have 11 more ounces. So we figure out 16 times 9 first to get the number of ounces that those 9 pounds are worth. 4, regroup the 5. 9 times 1 is 9, plus 5 is 14. So 9 times 16 is 144 ounces for those 9 pounds. And then we can add back in those 11 ounces to get 155 ounces. So again, we figured out the conversion factor, and then we multiplied by that conversion factor, and we remembered to add back in those ounces there. So we have 155 ounces equaling 9 pounds 11 ounces. In this problem, we have 23 feet 7 inches equaling how many inches? One foot is equal to how many inches? Right, 12 inches. So the first thing that we will do is we will look at how many inches that the 23 feet is worth. What do we do with the 23? We multiply it by its conversion factor. In this case, 12 inches. 23 times 12, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 2 is 4, place a 0, 1 times 3 is 3, and 1 times 2 is 2. We add those together to get 276. So this 23 feet is worth 276 inches. Am I done? No, I have not done anything with the 7 inches. There's no conversion factor needed because we are converting to inches. What do I do with the 7 inches? It's 23 feet 7 inches, so I will add back in those inches there. 276 plus 7 is 283 inches. Here we have 4 tons, 175 pounds, equaling how many pounds? We know that 1 ton is equal to 2,000 pounds. So that's our conversion factor. We'll look at the 4 tons to see how many pounds that it is worth. Straw bar model 
thinking about those four tons. It's one, two, three, four tons. We know this is one ton, which also equals 2,000 pounds. And how many of them do we have? We have one ton, two tons, three tons, and four tons. There. So we have 2,000, which was our conversion factor, times 4. And yet we also have, for the problem, 175 pounds. So add that back on in. I abbreviated pounds with the LBS for pounds. This is 8,000 pounds for the 4 tons. And then I will add in the 175 to get 8,175 pounds. Sometimes it does help us to draw a picture to visualize what we're converting. Here are some conversions that we will use for the next problem. In this case, we're looking at 3 quarts, equaling how many fluid ounces. You could have a quart of juice, for instance, so we could be looking at 3 quarts of juice being how many fluid ounces. The conversion factors that we do have, we do have that 1 quart equals 4 cups, except we don't have anything with cups. We also have 1 quart equaling 2 pints. And then after we change the number of quarts into pints, then we also have the conversion factor that one pint equals 16 fluid ounces, which is what it is that we would want to get. We can't just multiply 3 by 16 because this is pints to fluid ounces, whereas this would be quarts to fluid ounces. So we'll start. We have 3 quarts equaling how many pints? The conversion factor is 2, so we will multiply 3 by 2 to get 6 pints. Drawing a picture to visualize this, if we had our 3 quarts, we know that each of those quarts is worth 2 pints. And then each of those pints is worth 16 fluid ounces. So we'll have a conversion factor of 16 for each of those two pints. So we have 2 times 16, 2 times 16, and 2 times 16 again. 2 times 16, 2 times 16, 2 times 16 would actually be 6 times 16. That's what we have here. <clears throat> we'll multiply that together to get 96 fluid ounces. Okay, your turn to try. 17 feet, 3 inches, equaling how many inches? The conversion factor is 12, so we go 17 times 12 to figure out how many inches those 17 feet equal. And after we end up figuring out that that equals 204 inches, we take those 204 inches and we make sure to add back in the 3 inches to get 207 inches. Let's do a weight conversion, and this is another one for you to try. Remember that one pound does equal 16 ounces. So that's your conversion factor. Pause the video and do your work. All 
Ideally, you used the conversion factor of 16 to multiply 25 by 16. 6 times 5 is 30. 0. Regroup a 3. 6 times 2 is 12. Plus 3 is 15. Place a 0. And multiply with that 1, which was worth 10. So we have 150 plus 250, which does equal 400. And so that's 400 ounces. And yet we also have still 9 more ounces. With it equaling how many more ounces still. If we put those together, because they are like units, and add them, we get 409 ounces. So 409 ounces equals 25 pounds 9 ounces. Okay, one last problem. We have 53 gallons, 1 quart, equaling how many quarts? When I think of quarts, I also think of quarter. And a quarter, there are four quarters in a dollar. Or if I quarter something, I am breaking it apart into four parts. So a quart, there's four quarts in one gallon. Or that one gallon does equal four quarts. So our conversion factor is 4. Each of these gallons is worth 4 quarts. So what we do again, as a review, is that we take 53 and we multiply it by its conversion factor of 4. 4 times 3 is 12. 2, regroup a 1. 4 times 5 is 20. Plus 1 is 21. So these 53 gallons do equal 212 quarts. And then we still have one more quart that we add back in. So we have 212 plus 1 does equal 213 quarts. Do remember that if we have a partial unit there, to add that back in. And remember to look at and use your conversion factors appropriately. If it helps to write out that tape model, then go ahead and do that to visualize your conversions as well.